And here is Andrew Provost from Plattsburgh, New York, a full-time MMA fighter, 12 MMA fights, 7-1 and one as an amateur, 2-1 and one as a pro, Charlie. Yeah, you know, New Yorkers are just built different sometimes, and Andrew Provost, he's making lemonade from lemons, you guys. He committed to this fight with one week's notice. He's looking for a bit of redemption after an injury to his right during his December match versus Jules Scott, but he is not at all worried. He says his left hand does a lot of damage. If that is the case, he needs to use that hand instead. He's a two-in-one pro MMA fighter. To so the short notice, no problem. He trains all the time anyways. He's ready to take full advantage of tonight. Yeah, going up against Alex Asbury said, well, I asked him, I said, what do you know about him? He said, well, I know that he's tall and he's skinny and that's about it. Now, when he's not slapping people, he works as a cook. Uh, it's Lady Tasha. She's going to be in the building here tonight. Of course, he was on the house. Didn't get involved in all the drama, but really enjoyed all the specifics of the training and how to land the perfect shot. So, feels he took a lot away from that and feels a much more improved slap boxer here tonight. And Provost did win the toss, which means he will go first. He's the minus 180 favorite. 0 oh, and 1 is his record in slap fighting. Andrew Provost from Plattsburgh, New York, ready to make his mark. Alex Asbury, the DJ from the Charlotte, North Carolina area. What's his DJ name? Bisping Ash? Alex Annex Religion. Religion. You knew it, because you, you, you like on. the DJs, don't you? Yeah, I like the DJs. I said, what does Annex mean? He said, it's the Greek word for king. Now, listen, lots of combat sports experience with this guy. 11 and 0 as an amateur boxer. Five professional mixed martial, sorry, five pro boxing fights. DJ now for three years, and on Andrew Provost, he says, look, listen, I don't really know what to think about this guy, but I know how he feels like Provost chickened out of the show by saying that his hand was injured. Now, of course, he's going to say that. He's coming in very, very confident. Let's see what happens. But I like this guy. A lot of personality. Had a hard life as well. Was homeless for a while. That's kind of why he started fighting, you know. No easy, you know, it, nothing easy about the life that this man has lived. No, no doubt. Also a former college wide receiver at Winston-Salem State says he hasn't graduated yet because he didn't have the money to do it. No. He hopes to go back and get his degree. Perhaps this will help. Hey, if you want to weigh in, we want to hear from you. Just use this hashtag and hit us up on social media. Hashtag power slap one. The Tale of Tape brought to you by 10X. 10X your business, 10X your income, 10X your life. Go to CardoneVentures.com. You can see that Asbury is the younger man, also four inches taller and a five-inch reach advantage. Despite the metrics, he is coming into this one as a plus 145 underdog to Andrew Provost, who will be going first. Justin Bernard, take it away. Ladies and gentlemen, this match is three rounds in the Power Slap Welterweight Division. Introducing to you first, out of the blue corner, he stands five feet, 10 inches tall, weighing in at 170 and one half pounds. Out of Plattsburgh, New York, Andrew Provost. And now, striking out of the red corner, he stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 164 pounds. Out of Concord, North Carolina, Alex Annex Religion Asbury. Let's go, man. Let's go. And when the action begins, your referee in charge, Jason Herzog. Winner of the coin toss and striking first, Andrew Provost. All right, you can hear the coaching already coming from Andrew Provost's corner. Let's go. Member of Team Wolverine on Power Slap Road to the title. On which hand and what strike count will you be striking your opponent? Right on three. Right on three. Stand by. Keep your feet down in the box. Right on right three. Right on three. Right on Remember, three. Remember, his arm must be healed because he heard it on the show. There was rumors he was going to hit with the left. One. Two. Ooh. That was a big one. That was a big foul. one. There's nothing wrong with that hand. Called a stepping foul on Provost. To be honest, Michael, 
I'm a little surprised that we're seeing this many fouls. Yes. Well, it's a big occasion. It's a big event. The first ever power slap. They're fired up. They want to put their best foot forward. Got time, time, but you got to keep those you're feet you're planted. You, you got to come up a little for me here. A little bit more. Chin above. One step forward. Yep. Yeah. You got to keep those feet on the ground. A little oh, rising of the heel is allowed. Alex right, Asbury is fired up. Um, he's getting the crowd pumped up. And he's getting me pumped right, up. This big guy. Right three. Keep your feet down in the box. Right three. Keep your heels down. Don't Asbury, two and one, one, one coming into this slap fight. And the biggest hands as well, right? Gargantuan. One, Gargantuan. Here we go. Oh. 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 Fair. All right, clean shot. Fight up. Provost eats it pretty well. But remember, there's a foul. So that first round's going to go to Asbury. You got him good, though, and you're good. You're good, brother. On the first one. A that is a good but point. Jason Herzog never so took the point true. away, though. I know, but you so it's probably a 10 9. So the first round would still go to Asbury. A little surprised that they didn't take the point, but they do give warnings on occasion. Should have been a, should have been a point deduction if you ask me, but still, what's going on here? Ah, uh, yes. They're, they're discussing it right now, yes. and they're yes. informing Jason Herzog that that should have been an automatic point. You guys got your point? There's a one-point deduction, one-point deduction for the stepping, one-point deduction for the stepping. On which hand and what count will you be striking your opponent? White, right on three. So right that's 10-8 Asbury in the first big. round. Provost needs a big one here. One, two. Oh! He's Let's trying. see, he's trying hard. He's I don't think he's going to make it. He's grabbing that table. I don't know. He's up. Oh, oh he's, oh That's no. It. Oh, it's over. That okay. is it. Okay. Okay. Oh, he gave man. Alex religion counted out. Andrew Provost over here, look at this. With the injured hand, Andrew Provost gets it done after the foul in the first. Tonight's Monster Knockouts brought to you by Monster Energy. Unleash the beast. Here's another look. Perfect slap. Oh. Wait for it. I mean, look at that. The follow through. That's what gets it done. And Asbury, still conscious, but trying to get back to his feet. Just wasn't going to happen. Grabbed the hold of the table, trying to climb his way up like a boxer does with the ropes in the boxing ring, but Jason Herzog, look at this, wait. Boom. Oh, man. It's a lot of power. Andrew Provost doing his little Connor walk around the stage. You know, his 13-year-old son, TJ, watching at home, loving what dad did there. And you can see, he had a minor heel lift on that. That's okay. You can do that. It can't be a full pivot, can't be a full heel lift. Oh my, I did not expect oh. that. I did <laughs> not expect to oh. see Andrew Provost come well. back with that. And now for the official decision brought to you by Kudo Snacks, Kudo Protein Popcorn. Get pop with Kudo today at kudosnacks.com. We send it to Justin Bernard. Ladies and gentlemen, after 17 seconds into round number two, referee Jason Herzog calls a stop to the match for the winner by knockout, Andrew!